Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to take a look at the document ready handler in, or the ready handler in uh, jQuery. Now, you can see at the moment I have a basic page just set up, an HTML5 document with a title, a style sheet, and I also have included jQuery. Now, when we write jQuery code, we tend to want to load all of our code at a particular point straight after the document object model is available or the DOM for short. You'll probably see it written like this quite a lot of the time. And for this we use the ready event handler and we we bind this to the document, the overall document. And what this is allow what this allows us to do is load in our code before um, anything else starts to load. So we have an advantage where we quickly load in uh, our code or, or what we want our page to do, so our fun uh, our events, uh, etc., animations uh, before um, the uh, page is loaded. So there are, are advantages and uh, disadvantages to this method. However, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we would use document ready. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create an external JavaScript file. So I'm going to open up a new file in my text editor and I'm going to save it inside my JavaScript directory and I'm just going to say, uh, save this as ext.js for uh, external. Now we need to go ahead and include this on the page so let's go ahead and type out our script tags. The type is text JavaScript and the source is js forward slash ext.js which is the file that we've just created inside of our JS folder. Now let's just say we have some um, document content here. That's going to look um, in the browser very much like that, so nothing really too special. So I want to go ahead and I want to um, load or, or do something before the document has loaded. So I can go ahead and I use a selector to select the document and then I say dot ready. Now inside uh, the dot ready handler we need to create a function and this is the standard notation that you'll use or in fact the, the overall concept of what I'm talking about is uh, what you would usually use when you were would load jQuery code or, or write jQuery code. So inside here we outline a function and then we give it some curly brackets and what we want to do is just pull this down and now inside of here, this is where all of our jQuery code would, would go. So essentially, as soon as the document is ready, i.e. Uh, straight after the DOM has been registered, we can go ahead and actually start to write something out. So in this case, uh, and just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and alert something out. So I'm going to alert out document is ready. So now when we go ahead into our browser and refresh, let's just go and refresh, you'll see that uh, this has been loaded uh, straight away. Now we've only got some page content here, um, however you'll notice that as soon as the page was reloaded, uh, this alert box came up. So if we were, for example, to go ahead and write some other code in here, we now know that as soon as the document is ready, we'd be able to actually go ahead and, and uh, you know write our code inside of here. Uh, alternatively if I was just to go ahead and say uh, alert ready for example uh, it does more or less the same thing but the standard way that we would write in jQuery we would usually use uh, document.ready uh, every time we were to write some jQuery code so it's probably best to get into the habit of when you write uh, any jQuery code and you include it, you know, as we will be doing in this tutorial series, in an external file. Go ahead and use document.ready just to allow uh, the jQuery code that you've written to be uh, run as quickly as possible.